Hello and welcome to ELIV 2019, the International Congress for Automotive Electronics being held here at the World Conference Centre in Bonn. Now, Audi AG are known as one of the most innovative car makers when it comes to exterior lighting concepts. They make some seriously cool stuff. Here on the ST stand, we have a brand new digital OLED technology demonstrator, the result of a long-standing collaboration between Audi AG, OLED Works, and of course, ST Microelectronics. As you can see, there are some pretty amazing and dynamic lighting patterns and signatures. And thanks to the groundbreaking technology all three parties are bringing to this project, this is just the start. So let's begin by having a chat with Audi. Dr. Michael Krupper here is Head of Rear Combination Light Development, or Head of Tail Lighting if you prefer Audi, so just the man to talk to. Michael, why are you as a car maker so excited about this new lighting technology? Well, quite simple. This is the most perfect light source you can take in a tail light. So coming from every individual segment which you can turn on and you can turn off like you see here, you get the best perfect contrast ratio you can imagine. Every segment that's turned on is illuminated homogeneously. Every segment that's turned off is black. This is coming to the second point, how to, to illuminate a, a display-like structure in the car. You want to have a surface light source, and this is what you get with the OLED. In the end, if you would do the same thing with an LED, you would have a point light source, and you have to do something weird to, to spread the light inside, and you're losing a lot of photons. And this is bringing me to the third point of discussion, is the optical efficiency. We want to turn the electrodes into photons in the most efficient way. And this is what's happening in the OLED. You don't lose electrodes in the car, you transfer them into photons and you create gorgeous looking light. Yeah, I love the technology. What about me? What about me, the driver? Well, quite simple. It's amazing. So if, if you have something like this in your car, all your neighbors will get jealous. So <laughs> they look on the car when you're driving out. You might have a different signature of your tail light, like your son or your wife. So you can individualize, you can personalize the light. By simple means, like using an app, using the HMI in the car, you can play around with the car. But there's another point. In the end, what we can do with that is to use information from the car to communicate with the outside world. This is what we name car to x communication. So the car is getting a signal like you're approaching a traffic jam and it automatically starts to indicate like a warning triangle or whatever. You don't realize this inside, but the person following you keeps distance and there's everything safe for you inside the car. Absolutely amazing. Michael, great stuff. I said this was teamwork. Let's go and find OLED works. Wolfgang Gogan is Managing Director at OLED Works. Wolfgang, most of us know OLED technology because of our TV sets, smartphones. What's it bringing to the automotive world? Automotive can use very well our unique technologies. We are known from the general lighting market where we have our panels installed in, in quite some installations due to their high brightness, high performance. So we are there the market leader. And um, automotive is, with their high standards, very interested to apply also our technologies in, in their real light functions. With our panel shown here with a deep red color point, which is very thin, so the layers are just a couple of 100 microns thick, we can have, including the segmentation, additional functionality to the tail lights which is really compelling and helps then also the automotive uh, customers to attract more customers. And all light sceneries are possible. And what's it been like working with ST? Working with ST was very, very beneficial for us because we have a yeah, driver expert that helps us to develop and produce an automotive complying driver for usage with our panels. And the OLED panel plus the, plus the driver is a system which 
can be easily integrated also in other applications. Right, let's wrap up our story then and go and have a word with ST. I've been joined by Nicola Liparace, who's been at the heart and soul of this project for ST. So, Nicola, hi. where does your technology fit into this amazing jigsaw? So, hi, Chris. You know, flashing lights are fantastic, really amazing, okay? But without, uh, I would say, a brain, a reliable brain, because we are on automotive uh, applications, there is absolutely nothing. Where is the brain in this context? The brain is this one, this good. This small stuff here, the L99 LDLH32. This one drives and control the uh, multi pixel OLED array from OLED Works. And this, I believe, will fulfill the dream of uh, lighting designer for uh, continuous animation and faster animation. This is why, again, this driver has been equipped with an high speed communication interface, the so called STFLA. Now, it must have been amazing working with Audi and OLED Works. Tell me a bit about that collaboration and also the potential for all of you. This was really fantastic. I have to say two partners, two fantastic partners, one Audi as well as OLED Works. And there is a potential for everyone, for all of three. We as, uh, as, as, as ST, we are in the, this field, we are market leader in this field. We are there since ever, since the beginning, since the incandescent or halogen bulbs that you cannot absolutely compare with this stuff, <laughs> of course. And uh, we say we... Prehistoric. We, <laughs> yeah, it's historic, ab absolutely. And uh, we really believe that all of the technology for the intrinsic capability that this technology has, like the car 2x communication, the animation, uh, let's say the, the safety, the enhanced safety, again, automotive, this is a fantastic opportunity. There is very great potential for all of us. At least we trust in this stuff. I can't help thinking that I got my first car 30 years ago and this kind of technology was like science fiction stuff and now it's reality. Yeah. Thanks to this one, one. <laughs> yeah, you know, the brain. Nicola, thank you so much. It was it's been lovely pleasure. talking to you. Yeah, thank you.